Good happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. New Hampshire man falls to his death at UMass Amherst. James Tilly of Windham fell out of a window and died at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst, police said. Up to six inches of snow possible in New Hampshire by morning of primary. Forecasters are watching two ocean storms this week with the first likely to bring snow on primary day in New Hampshire. Residents upset to see their faces appear on Sanders mailers. An American Legion official and a poster post pastor are among several New Hampshire residents who say they were upset when they saw their faces featured on presidential candidate Bernie Sanders mailers without their permission. Maybell's season running early. Business is booming. The Maple Sap has been running early this year, but a few maple producers are really ready. Man 80 to be sentenced in huge marijuana operation. An 80-year-old man who pleaded guilty to running a massive marijuana dealing operation faces sentencing in federal court. Police issue war arrest warrant for Punxsutawney Phil. An arrest warrant has been issued for the Roundhog after police say he punked them with his weather prediction. It took th Trooper Three Mile to catch up to speeding driver, police say. New Hampshire State Police say a man faces reckless driving charge after a trooper clocked him going doing 105 miles per hour on Interstate 93. Return of Purple Heart for New Hampshire soldier leads to missing family. A Purple Heart awarded to a soldier for New Hampshire killed in World War II battle of a blurge that turned up recently after a woman's death has brought together two branches of a family that never knew the other's extensions. Pull Trump Sanders continue to lead in New Hampshire. Two days ahead of New Hampshire first in the nation primary, Republican Donald Trump and Democratic Bernie Sanders continue to have strong leads in their representative contests. It's Christie versus Rubio, Bush versus Trump. In a high energy face off, Three days before the New Hampshire primary Saturday, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and Florida U.S. Senator Marco Rubio battled over who was more effective in their jobs, while front-runner Donald Trump and former Florida Governor Jeb Bush punched and center-punched on emanations domain the use of government authority to take over privacy property. GOP candidates spare in final debate before New Hampshire primary. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio faced a bearing of attacks in Saturday night's Republican debate with rivals challenging his regarded readiness to be president, his committee to his own policies and deepest of his experience. Snow possible Monday through start of primary day. More snow is possible in New Hampshire early next week and flakes could be falling on the 
day of primary. New Hampshire. Super Bowl 50 is here. Finally, the day is here. It's time for another Super Bowl Sunday, and this one is a doozy. UN Security Council's commands a North Korea launch. North Korea launched a satellite into space Sunday, its state media report triggering a wave of international accommodations and prom promoting strong reactions for an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Mm -hmm. I hope you all have a great rest of your night, everyone. Goodbye.